In this world of limited language, the ancient humans had a special way of communicating that went beyond the ordinary spoken words, which is onomatopoeia, or the art of imitating sounds with the words. Prepare to be amazed by some shocking facts about how people spoke in prehistory. Watch on as we take a glimpse on the shocking facts of prehistoric language in the fascinating world of our ancient ancestors. Prehistoric people spoke differently based on location and time. As written records were not maintained, linguistic experts have made guesses based on current languages and past artifacts, but no clear proof exists due to the lack of written records during this period. In the Paleolithic era, a vast valley filled with life and nature is surrounded by higher rocks and rough mountains. Clear river flows through the valley, and small groups of Paleolithic people gather along its banks to perform various activities. Some use stone tools for weapons and fires, while others use spears and arrows to hunt wild animals. A group of women and children gather closer to the river to gather berries, nuts, and roots carrying handmade bags filled with the land's wealth. They walk on the ground with their bare feet, carrying laughter and songs that fit with nature's music. The Paleolithic man had an innate propensity for speech, having been aware of the world around him since childhood. As he got older, he began to express himself and share his thoughts with others in his tribe. He learned to imitate the sounds of animals and nature events, using onomatopoeic phrases to communicate with others. Over time, the Paleolithic man's unique way of talking spread through his group, making it easier for them to share their thoughts and feelings. These new sounds brought their surroundings to life and helped them feel more connected to them. The Paleolithic man also developed a system of signs that went with the sounds animals made by watching their movements and rhythms. These hand movements help him talk more clearly, discussing hunting techniques, water sources, and plant identification. His creative way of talking became an important part of his tribe's culture over time, making their society stronger and allowing them to work together without fighting and pass on knowledge from one generation to the next. During the Neolithic era, people made significant progress in farming and living in permanent places. The fields were spread across the country with hills covered in lush grass and clear plots of crops. People in the center worked hard in their fields using simple tools like wooden hoes and digging sticks. They were excited about their newfound knowledge of farming, which kept them stable and fed them. In a small village, there were many round or rectangular huts built from mud bricks or wood, and hearths and community fires were commonplace. Neolithic families gathered around these fires to share food and talk, creating a sense of unity and cooperation. The Neolithic man lived in a thriving society that had changed from being nomads to farming. Language and communication took on new forms during this time and he was always interested in learning new things. He saw the need for a more organized and united society as his people started to grow food and raise animals. To help his community understand each other better, he tried to create a visual language that went beyond spoken language and helped them understand each other better. His new way of talking to people was made up of simple but strong images such as lines for fields, rings for the sun, and waves for water. By using the signs along with facial emotions and movements, he was able to send complicated messages about how to plan, care for animals, and perform group routines. This visual language quickly caught on with everyone else, making trade and teamwork easier between towns that were close by. Storytelling was also important in society, as elders shared stories that tied together the threads of their shared past. This stories help pass on traditional values, teach important lessons, and have fun. Building a sense of identity and togetherness, trade paths connecting towns, connecting them through various languages, making conversation complex. As traders talk to each other, they mixed words and sentences from different languages to make a common language, paving the way for the sharing of culture and the growth of a more complicated society. 
people in the Neolithic period also used body language to send messages, showing feelings, plans, and warnings. A simple nod of the head, raised eyebrow, or soft touch could mean a lot to people in the community and help them trust and understand each other. As the Neolithic period continued, communication and artistic expression became more connected. Paintings, pottery, and elaborate carvings in caves filled in the gaps between spoken and written language, making a picture language that people from all walks of life could understand. Today, archaeologists find pieces of an old written language etched into clay tablets called pictographs, which were easy ways to show things, activities, and ideas. This step forward in communication made things more precise and helped keep knowledge alive. During the Bronze Age, technology and culture combined in a vibrant city with stone walls that rise against the sky. The city is filled with narrow streets, marked stands, art studios, and traders from faraway places trading valuable metals, silks, and crafts. Languages and cultures mixed to create a lively, fabric of variety. A metal forge nearby produces a beautiful sound of heat and skill as craftsmen shape and mold molten metal. The steady beating of hammers on anvils can be heard throughout the room as simple materials are turned into complex weapons, tools, and ritual items. A temple stands tall and proud in a quiet part of the city with its intricate reliefs reaching up to the sky, making it a peaceful place to be spiritual. Beyond the city, rich lands were carefully farmed by farmers who used irrigation ditches to carry water to crops and work the land with wooden plows and sickles while wearing simple clothes. This shows how people and nature can live together in harmony. Advanced cultures like the Sumerians, Egyptians, and Indus Valley civilizations grew during this time, and written records started to appear, providing information about the languages spoken at the time. The Bronze Age man lived in a thriving society that learned how to work with metal, which started a new era of progress and invention. Today, people from all over the world can learn about and share different cultures. The Bronze Age man was naturally good at telling stories, and his colorful stories made him a respected leader in his community. He would gather his eager crowd around the fire at night, telling stories about brave acts and old tales. His language skills went beyond just being good at telling stories. He was also a great public speaker who could change people's minds with his talks. As trade and negotiation improved during the Bronze Age, people's ability to talk to each other became more valuable. With his sharp wit and charming personality, the man became a trusted messenger who helped people from different countries understand each other better. Speaking was still an important way to meet, even after writing was invented. Storytellers in busy markets enchanted people with dramatic stories of heroes, gods, and magical animals teaching morals, cultural values, and historical events. Reading and writing brought people of different groups together by passing on their knowledge and creating a sense of unity. Trade paths connected different nations and parts of the world, breaking down language obstacles by creating lingua francas, shared languages that made simple conversation and trade easier. The kingdom grew, and a system of agents was set up to bring important information across large areas. These messengers used transfer stations to send notes to the next runner, ensuring that information got to the right person quickly and correctly. During the Iron Age, people used iron extensively to form strong societies and create new ideas. The world moved into a new era, with protected mountain villages and vast farmlands emerging. A hill forth, guard towers, and thatched roof huts surrounded the village, creating a sense of safety and unity. Farmers worked the rich floodplains and cared for their crops with iron tools, demonstrating the advanced technology at the time. The Iron Age saw a busy market filled with traders from faraway places selling goods and strange gifts. Iron workers worked hard to shape metal into weapons, tools, and everyday items, showcasing their skill in metalworking. Stories about brave deeds and mythical sagas were told around the community fire, bringing people together and highlighting their shared cultural identity. 
The rise of great powers like the Greek, Roman, and Persian during this time made communication more complex. The Iron Age man was known for his dominating demeanor and precise word choice, inspiring, teaching, and encouraging others. He knew the importance of clear communication to make friends and settle disagreements and was admired as a negotiator due to his ability to handle complicated political situations. The Iron Age man also knew that writing was becoming more important as time went on, and he worked hard to become a great writer, creating papers and tablets that communicated information clearly and accurately. His ideas would live on after his death, demonstrating the importance of using words with honesty and purpose and good communication in creating history. In addition to words and writing, the Iron Age people used pictures to send messages. With metal workers and potters adding complicated shapes and themes to their work, people of all languages could understand and share traditional ideas, stories, and holy symbols through these forms of art. Artists left the mark on the world through their work, leaving a lasting impact on future generations. New tools and improvements in transportation and infrastructure changed the way people talked to each other. The quill pen and inkwell made writing faster and more accurate, while improvements in transportation and infrastructure made it easier for words to reach people quickly. Post offices along major trade lines allowed riders on horses to exchange notes and keep in touch with towns far away. In conclusion, the Iron Age was a time when people could talk to each other a lot sharing information, making friends, and changing the direction of events. A controversial topic is the development of grammar in prehistoric languages. How did our ancestors go from simple vocalizations to complex grammatical structures?